Hi guys, welcome to one more video and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we are going to talk about why are polyglots polyglots? Why are some people learning languages so easily and it seems that they are not even putting a lot of effort in it and then other people are struggling to even learn one language? Are the first ones smarter? Is their brain different? Or they just have more time and more dedication to the learning process? This is something that has been fascinating scientists for a long time and I have read several scientific researches on this topic, so that's one thing that I want to share with you guys today. And I also want to share my own experience and my own opinion based on how I learned languages and how other polyglots learned languages. So I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please leave me a like, subscribe to my channel and let's start. Before we start speaking about why are polyglots polyglots, it is important to explain who is actually a polyglot. Officially, polyglot is a person who speaks at least five languages. Now you might be wondering what does it mean to speak a language? How much is enough to be considered as a speaker of certain language? This question is a little bit more complicated because I, for example, I'm getting many questions from different people about how perfect is each of the languages I speak, do I speak them perfectly, how good I am in speaking the language. And first of all, I would like to say that perfect and language skills shouldn't be in the same sentence. I don't think anyone speaks any language perfectly, because that would probably mean that you need to know all the words in that language, which is impossible even for native speakers. Also, that would probably mean that you have to be able to speak in that language about any kind of topic, which is also impossible even for native speakers. So officially what is considered as fluency in certain language is ability to speak fluently with a native speaker or anyone else who speaks the language without uh, struggling to find words, without having to think too much about what are you going to say next. So if you want to be considered as a speaker, fluent speaker, you have to be able to speak without thinking too much, kind of similar like in your native language. As I said b before this, you will never speak any language perfectly if you have learned a foreign language um, as an adult or as a teenager, you will most probably have an accent in that foreign language and that's completely fine. I know some people like to criticize other people's accent and I personally consider them not the smartest because we all have certain accent and someone's accent means that they speak some other language. So accent is fine, but you have to be able to hold a conversation without any difficulties in order to be considered fluent. So now when we explain the this part, we can start explaining why are some people polyglots. Scientific research on polyglots that I want to talk with you about today was performed at MIT. Now you're wondering how was it performed? So technicians or scientists there gathered a lot of polyglots together and they decided to check their brains one by one to see if their brains are any different than brains of people who only speak one language. So what they did, they played conversations in different languages to those polyglots in languages that they speak fluently, in languages that they only understand but don't speak, and in languages that they don't speak at all. And while playing those conversations, polyglots' brain were scanned in order to see what areas of the brain are the most active. So technicians uh, scanned their brains and followed their blood flow in order to see what part of the brain is working very hard for the polyglot in order to understand and speak a language. And in order to get a uh, Precise answer, why is polyglot's brain different than brain of the person who doesn't speak many languages? They also had to check brains of those people who speak only one language to see if there is any difference. The conclusion that they came to was that polyglot's brain was working in just a small part of the brain. Only a tiny little part of the brain was working in polyglot's case in order to un understand the language. And in the case of the person who speaks only one language and is trying to understand another one, a big part of their brain was involved in order to understand what are they saying in a foreign language. So as you can see, in this case, bigger doesn't mean better. 
a scientist came to the conclusion that polyglots don't have to work too much in order to uh, speak a language. Just a little part of their brain was involved while the rest was just chilling. And the person who only speaks one language has to work very, very hard in order to say anything or to understand anything in foreign language. What they didn't manage to answer to was if this is something that polyglots were born with, is that something that is maybe uh, in their family, did they get that talent from their parents or grandparents, or it is something that you can develop if you study hard enough during your childhood? That is the question that unfortunately was not answered, and I think that in order to answer that, they would have to follow a lot of polyglots from the very young age. And even then, I'm not sure if they would manage to answer whether polyglotism is something you're being born with, talent for languages is something to be that you're born with, or is it something that you can acquire if you work hard enough? But they came to the conclusion that there is a little, little difference in brains of people who speak a lot languages and those who don't speak many or just speak one. So polyglots are using just a teeny tiny little part of their brain, while monolinguals are using a lot of their brain if they want to learn or to understand certain language. So now while I'm speaking in English for this video, just a little part of my brain is working, the rest is chilling. Another question that a lot of people have is whether polyglots are extremely smart people, way smarter than the average, or they are just putting a lot of effort into something and then eventually they succeed in it. I would say, based on my experience only, that polyglots are usually smart people. I don't think I have ever met someone stupid who speaks a lot of languages, but I would not say that you have to be a genius in order to learn several languages. Many people who only speak one or two and they're equally as smart as some people who speak nine or ten. So very high intelligence is not a requirement, but you can't be really stupid in order to learn a language. So I would say a little bit above the average intelligence is perfectly enough. You don't need to be a genius or some kind of brilliant superhuman in order to be a polyglot. The main reason, in my opinion, why some people manage to learn so many languages and others do not, is the fact that people tend to be very good and very successful when they do things that they like. And this applies to every single field of life, not only to languages. You can see it even in small kids. If kid likes something, some subject in school, for example, they will probably be very good at it because they dedicate their time to it and it's not hard for them to actually learn and uh, dedicate uh, their energy to that certain topic. So in my case, I always loved languages. I loved how different languages sound. I love uh, being able to say something in different language. So I would definitely say that a little bit of net of talent or a little bit of love for something plus a lot of dedication and hard work are definitely going to get you somewhere, probably even more than just talent itself. So um, I would say that if someone doesn't speak many languages, and is struggling to learn them, it's probably because they might not be enjoying that, which is completely fine. We all have different um, talents. Someone might be talented for something else and bad in languages. I'm good in languages and bad in many, many other things. For example, even if I lived 500 years and even if I uh, was trying to learn to play tennis every single day of my life, I would never be good because I'm just not interested into that. So that's one reason why I believe that some people are good in languages. And another one is sometimes you just, it's the matter of luck. And what I mean by this is that many people are just lucky to be born in a society or in a family that made it possible for them to dedicate their time to learning. And there are a lot of people, unfortunately, all, all around the world who might be very smart who might be interested in learning, but they are coming from societies um, with high poverty or they don't have a chance to actually go to school and learn. 
which doesn't make them any less smart. They're just less lucky and they didn't have opportunity. So I would say that I was very lucky to have opportunity and time and even a little bit of money that I could dedicate to learning languages. I hope that there will be more researches uh, made by scientists in order to understand how polyglots brain work, because I believe that if we figure that out, then we might find a more effective or better ways for learning the languages. So eventually we might find out how to learn a language, any language quickly and easily, even if you are not that much into languages or even if that language is very hard. Uh, I don't know if this is ever going to be possible, but I think it is a very interesting topic to make a research on. If you enjoyed my video, please uh, like, subscribe, leave me some comment. I would really like to hear your opinion on this topic. I would like to hear what do you think, why are some people able to speak many languages and others are not. If you are a polyglot, and I know that many people who are subscribed to my channel are actually polyglots, please tell me what's your secret. Do you think that you are just talented or you are working very hard? or you are lucky to be uh, coming from a family where people speak several languages. I was always very jealous of people who have one parent who is native speaker of one language and another parent is native speaker of something else. I was very jealous of those people before and I think it's very nice, it's a big advantage. So let me know in the comments what is your experience with language learning and what helped you the most. And see you in my next video.